Welcome to BlueFX.net. This time we are going to talk about rendering and uh, the effective ways of rendering in After Effects. First of all, what is rendering? Well, if you have to explain this to a client or to your grandmother, rendering goes like this. It's like cooking. First you have to prepare your recipe. This would be the editing. And then you have to put the, the food in the oven. And cook it. And wait until it cooks. And this could be the render process. This, you can say that this is rendering. So cooking is rendering. Making the recipe is the editing part. Obviously, rendering takes time. Just like waiting for a good meal to cook. So, let's get back from this story right into After Effects. So here I have um, a project. This is a template. That I would like to render. Now I've been testing a lot of formats and uh, a lot of way ways to render and uh, I found out that one of the best formats to render in is actually QuickTime. So I'll just select Composition, Make Movie and here you can um, adjust the settings. So just click on the lossless text here and um, select QuickTime. OK, now let's see the format options. Photo JPEG is uh, the format that I would recommend you use. It has, um, it renders pretty fast, without errors. The file size is uh, acceptable, it's not huge. And the quality is, uh, is very good. You may also use animation, but the file size of animation compared to photo JPEG is um, like four times. So one, for example, if you create a video that is one gigabyte in photo JPEG, it will be four gigabytes in animation. So let's just use photo JPEG. Click OK. And if you have audio, you can also use audio. Click OK again. Now uh, I am here in uh, After Effects CS5. And um, I'm also using um, a magic tool that I will present to you. This, my friends, this is incredible. This is a script that will allow me to render in the background. So, if I would just go ahead and render this project in uh, After Effects, let me show you, I go here and render, then while it render renders I can do nothing, I can't, can't edit my uh, project. So I have to wait until the render finishes. And uh, that can be a while. I mean, some projects can take up to three, four, five, six hours to render, and you don't want to wait that long just to make the other render if you have many projects. I will bring to you the solution. Let's just stop this rendering for now. Okay, this is the background renderer script. Did I tell you that it is amazing? Well, I'm telling you again, it is amazing. You can um, you can hit this, you can set up the project. Let's set it up again. We are here in the project. We go again to composition, make movie. Good. We, sel we have this uh, selected. We set up the 
file format. So QuickTime with photo JPEG. And now instead of um, hitting this button, we're gonna hit this button, this render. I will show you exactly how to get this uh, this script. I just want to demonstrate how how it works. So instead of this render, we will hit this one. Okay, the project needs to be saved. I just click yes and save it on my desktop for now. Yes, test. Okay, and look what appeared. A new window in the background appears and you can see the progress here. As you see the frames are being rendered. Now the awesome part is that I can continue my work. So I can just keep on editing. I can even close After Effects. I can open a new project. I can new open a completely new project. For example, make a new project. I don't save. And the rendering is still going on. It doesn't stop. Now this means that, for example, I put a project to render. And then I start editing another one and uh, I don't lose time. Let me tell you a bit more about this incredible script. Uh, it has a couple of options. We can set it to low, below normal, above normal or high priority. It's good to keep it at low. Now this means, uh, this shows you how much uh, of the resources it will use how much system resources it will use while rendering. You need to have some system resources available for editing while it is rendering. It can also use multi multiprocessing and it has something incredible. It has an option called Post Render Actions. Now if I click it it will send me an email an, or an SMS or a push message to my iPhone telling me that the, the, the render is completed. So this can be configured here. You write in your email address and uh, you set up things here. I won't get into the details of this. I will actually show you a tutorial that will uh, take you step by step on how to install the script and how to um, use it. So we'll go to the site called AI AE Scripts. Here it is, the BG render. Click on it. Now what you need to do is um, just just watch this tutorial. Click here and just watch the full tutorial. It will tell you each step uh, that you need to take from conf configuring, uh, installing the script to um, rendering and using it. Now this script is um, is not for free, but you can use a trial, a free trial that will work, I think, for two weeks. Yes, for two weeks. And then you have an option to buy a, a, a basic single user one or a 29 for 29.99 a pro single u user uh, version. This this plugin is worth all the money. Now, in the second part of this tutorial, I will show you how you can set up multiple projects at the same time that are ready for rendering. So you make uh, 10 video projects, set them all up, make them ready for render. You click render and just wait until all the 10 of them are uh, ready. So don't forget to watch the second part. See you soon.